Hi, this is Harold. Welcome to Transformation's weekly message and podcast. I'm glad you are making time for this week's teaching. I will have more to say at the end of today's message, but for now, let's see what God wants to teach us. May God bless your hearing, understanding, and application of God's word and message. Good morning. I've been a Christian all my life. I have been in church in the womb as an infant all through all my life. And I've known God all of my life. Jesus is a friend of mine. So giving a testimony, I've, I've known God all my life. There you go. There's my testimony. So I started thinking about promises of God and the video talked about it and just the general, these are the promises. Well, here you go. The Lord will keep you from harm. He will watch over your life. When I was in elementary school in Lombard, Illinois, we walked home for lunch every day. I was on my way home, crossing the street with the walk light. 16-year-old who had just gotten his driver's license ran the light and hit me. I rolled toward the curb, ended up with nothing but a skin knee. Oh my goodness. And the medical personnel and the officers were asking me, how did you know to do that? And I just looked at him and said, because my angel told me. Like, duh. And... God took care of me in what could have been a horrible situation. Uh, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed. When my dad died, I was scheduled to work for to close at McDonald's in West Memphis, Arkansas. I had my car packed. I was going to come home for Easter weekend. Mom called me at work. She'd never done that before and said, you need to come home now. Your dad's not going to make it. I got in the car. I still can't tell you how I got from West Memphis, Arkansas to House Springs, Missouri, I was driving and screaming and yelling and telling God how horrible I thought he was, and God got me home safely, and I got here in time to say goodbye to my father. In 2010, the love of my life that I waited 43 years to find suffered a catastrophic stroke at the age of 42 that should have killed him. Standing in the hospital, at St. Louis University and hearing a doctor say, this is fatal. My mom was in Mexico. I was surrounded by his family and friends, Harvey's family and friends, and God was there. God sent us Dr. Darvar, saved his life. He still has challenges, but he's still here. Uh, The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. In 2019, I was diagnosed with cancer, and I never once felt fear. I never once worried. God told me, when the doctor said it, God told me, you have to walk through this, but I'm going to be with you, and then you're going to be done. And here I am. Amen. In, all good, in all things, God works for the good of those who love him. I graduated from college with a degree in business and was planning to work in the business world and spent 10 years at McDonald's and then at the Library Limited in food service and retail. And Mom and I were out at the Northwest High School for the craft fair, and all of a sudden, totally unbidden, came into my mind, I can do this. I had never considered being a teacher, wasn't even on my radar. I've never once looked back. That was totally God. That was because of my degree in business, because of my 10 years in the business world, I was able to... um, circumvent some of the uh, requirements. I was able to, in a year and a half, get not only my certification but also my master's degree. I was able to get a temporary certification to begin teaching while I was in school. That was fun. Um, (laughs) Teaching full-time and going to school. But God was there. That was a God thing, and I've never once looked back. I love it. There's nothing else I want to do. My mom was a potter, most of you know, and um, one of the scriptures that has always meant something to her and to me is, be still and know that I am God. And I still have a plate she made that says, be still and know I am God. And that's really all you can do is trust God. And being me, being the independent, strong woman that I am, that I was raised to be, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. We've heard that. We talk about it. We share it with each other. Apply it. Stop and recognize when you're applying it. Because when I do that, when I focus on God, the way smooths out. My teaching degree. Harvey's still here. 
I wasn't killed in a, in a hit and run accident. So when you submit to God, and I see this myself, when I get stubborn and this is the way it needs to be, it doesn't work out. But when God, when I stop and say, God, what should I do? Then my path is straight. Thank you. Hi again, this is Harold. Thanks for listening to our weekly message and podcast. I hope we have shared something helpful to you wherever you are in your spiritual journey. Just so you know more about us, we are Transformation Church. We are a church for people who aren't in the church. We are a Jesus-centered community made up of everyday people just like you. We refer to ourselves as Transformers committed to helping God change the world. We meet on Sunday mornings at 10.30 a.m. at our House Springs campus. We are moving and launching a new campus soon in Eureka, Missouri, scheduled to launch on April 6, 2025, and we would love for you to join us and be a part of this Jesus revolution. We also meet during the week in smaller groups called house churches, and that's how we make it relational. We regularly hear from people from all over who are engaging in personal and group studies based on our teaching, and we would love to know if that is happening where you are. If you want to connect with us, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, Vimeo, YouTube, and TikTok. You can also download our app for free and for fun from your favorite app store. You can find the download link in the show notes or on our website at www.transformerforlife.org. That's www.transformer4life.org. Inside our app or on our website, you can access all our available audio and video teachings and view and download our bulletin, sermon notes, slides, and discussion questions. It's all there for you. Lastly, if you want to learn more about supporting Transformation Church with your time, talent, and finances, and what it takes to become a Transformer, please visit our website. God loves generous people, and so do we. So a gift of any amount of your time, talent, and finances is much appreciated. Hey, thanks for being a member of our extended Jesus-centered community. I'm glad we are on this journey together, walking shoulder to shoulder, helping people experience a Jesus-centered life, and discovering the kingdom of God.